I'm Dennis Disco. I'm the head of community at Twitter and Meet. And you all know why we're here today. Let's bring him out. The one and only David Dobrik. videos back from like three years ago like we're completely different people i know yeah. it's crazy to see the transformation it's exciting it's like a, it's like watching like a diary who do you think's changed the most big nick <laughs> big, big nick is our uh, is, he's a dwarf he's very adorable but not be scary adorable <laughs> he has like blue hair gold teeth it's it's a, it's a pretty positive transformation. Yeah. But I love him. He's, he's the best. He's awesome. We, love, we all love Big Nick. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I watch Big Nick find compilations. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling good. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. But yeah, we definitely do like Big Nick. <laughs> so speaking about your friends, you have a podcast with Jason now. I think a few people have, have listened. Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views. Yeah, that's the podcast we're doing. Uh, we're going on a tour, I guess. It's so lame to say. We get on stage and it's, it, it's fun. Our friend Scott performs. And then, performs. and then everyone goes on stage and we have a good time. It's like, I, I always say it. It's literally just like, it's like if I took six of you from the crowd and put them on stage, it's the same thing. We don't possess any kind of talent that, <laughs> that any, anybody else has. We just have fun. Your last episode on the podcast was about high school. Yeah, I feel like a lot of them are about 
high school. Yeah. What kind of person were you in high school? Because a lot of the fans here are in high school, right? Yeah. What was that? I don't know. I was. I, I kind of like felt like in the like the middle crowd. I kind of like like to talk to everyone. Yeah. Um, I mainly hung out with my friends that were close to me, uh, that like in, in proximity. I got along with okay. a lot of people um, easily. So I think I think it's whoever was closest to me we hang out with the most. My be, uh, I, I met my I met my best friend Alex uh, Newman because his stepdad came over when uh, we were in like the fifth grade and he was like, can you play with my uh, stepson? He's really bored. And we played Wii for like two hours and then we've been friends ever since. Nice. What's your favorite game on Wii? Yeah, just Wii Tennis. Wii Tennis is awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Wii Tennis! Yeah. So speaking about the blog, you're going to be traveling. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm sorry, the podcast. Yeah, we're going. We're going to Florida. We're going. To, we're going to New Jersey, and then uh, Chicago is what I'm really excited about. Burning Hills. Burning Hills. Yes. <laughs> uh, it'll be pretty close. Pretty close to my hometown. What do you love about Burning Hills? What's special about Burning Hills? I think I think I love it because so many people there hate it. And I think I tend to like a lot of things. Like I like to take the opposition because like I'm just annoying. So I, I think a lot of people from Burning Hills would say it's like the worst place on earth. But I find it like to be so wholesome and real, especially compared to LA where, where it can get scary. Absolutely. Have you had a scary experience in LA? Oh, yeah, I've had tons. Yes. I, I, I can't talk about them in front of the kids, but yeah, there's been some scary things. <laughs> so, speaking of Vernon Hills, uh, your 420 vlog. Which yeah. I think some people have seen that here. Yeah, yeah. Um, you gifted three cars to your best friends. Yes. Why? They're actually here right now, all three of them. Yeah. John, Mike, and Alex, yeah. And John doesn't like his brand new Mercedes. He's he was kind of, he's kind of iffy about it. Yeah, right? yeah, he still drives his Toyota. <laughs> is it more, is it a, a gas thing, eco-friendly? I or? don't know what it is. I think yeah. he hasn't switched the title over to his name, and he's okay. too lazy. What was that like, though? Take, take us through that moment of okay. giving your best friends brand new cars. It's nuts. That's yeah. insane. It's like, it's like the number one thing that I think anybody would want to do is be able to like give things to people. Like it's the best. Like that's, I mean, and it's so nice because it, people want to see that, they enjoy watching it and I enjoy doing it and the person enjoys getting it. Like it's a win-win for everybody other than my bank account, but it's, <laughs> it, it is a lot of fun. <laughs> so everyone's been enjoying them, obviously. Yeah, yeah, we just, we just surprised um, Aaron, our friend. Random name, and you guys would st uh, still cheer. <laughs> yeah, Steven. <laughs> you know, Aaron, our friend Erin got her car stolen like six days ago, and oh, no. we just got her a new Corolla, so she's wow. excited about that. Yeah, that's it's awesome. awesome. It's, it's, yeah, she's so grateful for it. It's amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. So you obviously love cars. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I have a Tesla. I know. Oh, yeah! <laughs> we can cheer for that. No, it's, it's definitely my favorite car. And uh, maybe I'll give you guys all rides afterwards, I'll be honest. I actually came out here, like, I, I was out here like an hour and a half ago, and I walked straight to my booth. No one said hi. I was, I was kind of like, no, and now you guys are here. So a bunch of fake We've been waiting here for four hours. <laughs> Have you done the autopilot on the Tesla? Yeah, I, I've been seeing a lot of Tesla stuff is crashing with their autopilot feature. So there's a couple. When it when I first I don't use it because I love to drive. Okay. But when I and then people still think I use it. I never ever even touch it. I just film. I use my rear view to see my camera, like where it is. And yeah. Then I just film like this and then drive with one hand. Um, but no, I don't use the autopilot feature. Right, because you could in theory like edit a video and just make yeah. a sip of coffee. I, I tried that like the first week I had the car, but it was so not safe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still nervous. Bad. Yeah. The, this is something that I, I won't repeat anywhere, but I think the first the first week I had the car, I put it in drive on autopilot and I sat in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. No one was on the road. Okay, it was good. There was like one lane road, but sounds a little dangerous. Never doing it again, especially because yeah. I've been seeing what's going on. What did, what sparked your love for cars? Oh, I don't know. 
I just, you just yeah. always love them. I, I, I'm not like a gearhead, so I don't even know how a car works. Yeah. I don't know the difference between regular and premium gas, but I, I like looking at cars. But you have your your eye on something, right? No, not anymore. Are not you talking anymore? about like the Ferrari I wanted? Yeah, just talking about the Ferrari. Yeah, not anymore. I got these red shoes, and they look exactly like a Ferrari. <laughs> My friends have like pretty nice cars, like my friend Zane, he has a G1. Ah! And, and he's returning it. And he's why? Because he doesn't need it. Like he doesn't yeah. and he's realized he doesn't need a nice car. And that's that takes like real courage and like intellect and to be able to decide that. It's kind of an LA thing though, right? To have your car is kind of like hundred percent your status, right? And almost not even because everyone in LA has a nice car. It's right. obnoxious. It's brutal. It's everyone has a G-Wagon. And everyone has a Tesla. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And in Vernon Hills, everyone has a Benz. And in Vernon Hills, everyone has a Benz now. Yeah, we're going to see you. Hope so. Amazing. So, we got some incredible fans here today. A lot of them were here waiting for. What do you love most about these amazing people? Dude, I mean, you guys you guys got me here. Like, you guys keep me in business. Woo! I, I know every YouTuber says this, but genuinely the best job in the world. Like, it's yeah. so, it's insane. It's insane. I can't even wrap my head around the fact that, like, I don't have to report to someone. I don't have a boss. I don't right. have anything. I literally just make videos. 90% of the time people like it, 10%. They hate me and they want me off the internet. But, but I, I'm so lucky to be in this position. Absolutely. Ridiculous. And thank you guys. Woo! I just do a circle. What's one thing that your fans don't know about you yet? And maybe that we can reveal right now. Do you have any weird there's facts or habits about David that I mean because they're they they follow you every single day. Yeah. What don't they know? Dude, I, it sucks because there's literally not, like, I don't leave a single thing off. Like, when we do our podcast, Jason and I will be, like, sitting in the room for, like, 30 minutes prior to it, and we can't think of anything we haven't talked about. Because yeah. literally every single thing. That's why I'm always scared to do interviews, because I'm, like, I've said everything about my life. <laughs> I have it, like, all, it's all out of there. Right. It sucks, but. Well, what about advice? A lot of your fans here want to grow up to be like you. <laughs> Believe it or not. No, you're, incre I mean, you're incredibly successful. You're, you're, like you said, you're your own boss. I mean, yeah. you know, you have your own clothing line. You have, you have my own clothing line. <laughs> this is it. You're, 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 you're own boss. You're able to do whatever you yeah, want. Right. And like, that's, that's super empowering. How, how are you able to, to do that? Like, what advice would you give? Sure. If there was a young David Dobrik in the crowd today, yeah, I think I think some advice is is that like every everything happens for a reason. I really truly believe that. Like every single thing in your life happens for a reason. And then and as like for YouTube advice, consistency is the most important thing on YouTube. And then you have to stay true to yourself. Don't make videos that you don't like watching. If you make a video and your friends come in the room and they want to put it on the screen, and you're like, no, 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 don't put it on the screen. That's when you know you're making something you don't like. Make something that when your friends come in and they throw it up on the screen, you're not embarrassed of. Something that you really love. And put that out, and people will see, people will see if you love making your videos, they'll see right through that, and they'll see it, and they'll love your videos just as much as you do. Yeah, that's, that's right. Buy my merch. You know, the fans might not have a ton of visibility into the work that goes into your videos and your, you know, because it looks like fun, right? It's it's just your life, you're hanging out. Sure. I think we were at a Giphy party together, right? And you were in the corner on your laptop editing. Oh yes, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, I mean, it's it, it's so much work, but it's, it's such a good payoff that it, it doesn't, it shouldn't even count. Like, right. I'm not like, I'm not doing someone else's taxes or I'm not an accountant, I don't know, like I'm, I'm doing stuff for myself and it's it's so much work. It's like ridiculous amounts of work. I, I've said this a million times, but every vlog I cut down to 4 minutes and 20 seconds. But it starts, 
Yeah. It starts with like two and a half hours of footage. So it's like getting that down and then and then you pick the best bits and you throw out all the rest and you do it again the next day. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's it's so it's the best. It's the best. And I love being stressed out because it just keeps me going. I don't know. I took a break when I was doing the the 420th vlog. Yeah. I didn't know what to do with myself. I, I I'm telling you, I sat on my couch one day and I just cried. Really? Because I didn't know what was next. Wow. Yeah. Because for a long time, my 420th vlog was supposed to be my last. Wow. And um, and that never ended up coming true because we didn't end up selling the show we were trying to sell. So now I'm stuck with vlogging. So you guys have me for a couple more months. Is there a new number now that you're thinking about? No. No, I'm not. Good. I think if I'm gonna end it, I'm gonna. I'm gonna end it randomly. Maybe 666, maybe 500. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow is the last vlog. <laughs> no! No, we can't have that. But, but thanks, guy. So, pivoting to we are on the Twitter stage, of course. Um, yeah, go Twitter. Twitter's my, Twitter's like one of my favorite platforms. I, I was trying to think if I could say that, like contractually, with like anybody that would, it's not, I love Twitter. Like I really, I've always loved it. I, I always used to have competitions with my friends back in high school. Who would get more likes on a tweet? Thank God I'm winning right now. But it's, it's, it's my favorite platform. It's so easy to go through. I love all the content on it. Yeah. It's, it's my favorite. Do you remember why or when you signed up? For Twitter? Yeah, like what prompted that? Did like a friend tell you or? It was, it was this, uh, this senior girl in my high school and I was a freshman. And, and I had a crush on her and she made me a Twitter. And I'm like, hell yes, I'm using Twitter every day. If this is what it takes. The things we do for love. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, speaking of Twitter, uh, your oh, fans have submitted some questions via Twitter. Right. And uh, is it cool if we go through some yeah, right now? Yeah, okay. I'm going to pull it up on my phone and we'll, we'll jump right into it. I'm excited. <laughs> Would you want to be stuck on a deserted island? Liza. Ha. Liza. 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 I don't want to say Liza because that's too easy. I, and I think we gotta go in like in depth. Like who would actually help me out? Jonathan. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 For, I mean, I can list a bunch of different reasons for different people, but Heath would be that. Yes, someone nice to look at, other than Liza, would definitely be Todd. Uh, other than Liza, yeah, Liza's the best. Heath, Heath, great answer. Bogan Hannah asks, my question for David is, how do you feel to have so many people that love and support you? Dude, it's not, it's not. The, the craziest thing was, when uh, Liza and I posted that breakup video, we were like so scared to post it. Like the second yeah. I hit post, literally my body just shut down. I was not there. And then like the response from everybody was insane. Insane. And we're so thankful for it. And it means so much to us. It's insane. Lil Pimp Q asks. Oh, awesome. That's Alex's second uh, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you ever start vlogging? What is your motive, inspiration? P.S. I love you dearly. I added that back. That yeah, last no, I know. Okay. I, I know. I know what you sound like. Um, Thank you. I started. I started because I started because uh, Liza started vlogging, and I love to copy whatever she's doing because it's so great. And she kills it. So I took inspiration from that, um, and then it kind of just like it kind of just did its own thing, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, what was the other part of the question? Um, it was just like, what, what's your motivation really to keep going? I, I don't know, I want I really want to do late night one day. I think yeah. it'd be cool to be a late night. <laughs> I have to go there, whoever I have to talk to, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Amazing. And you guys, I mean, just going back to like, you, you, could, you said you did whatever Liza did in the early days, you know? Um, was mine really... <laughs> 
The, find the drop off point for what? Or, or kind of like the inception of of the, the squad. Yeah, I think I think what was so great about Vine was uh, her. Everyone when Vine was like dying, everyone was like sh like snapping over to get onto YouTube. Yeah, and like I didn't care about it at all because I, I for some reason I thought I'd be fine without it. Like I don't need YouTube. Right. And I think that's what made me vlogging work is because I was just doing it just for fun. Yeah. I saw Liza doing it. And I'm like, oh, this seems like this seems like a good time. Yeah. So I just started filming, and I think it was easy to see how natural it was, and it was right. forced, and I wasn't trying to like outdo myself or do like something amazing. I was just being myself, and I think that's what works. And I think that's what works. I think I don't. I think there's maybe one percent of YouTubers that go in it thinking that they're gonna make money and actually end up doing it. If you if you even have a little thought of doing YouTube just for the money, it, it's not. It's not gonna work, I promise. You actually, like wholeheartedly, have to want to do it. And, and, and you should, because it's great. It's the great job. It's, yeah, what's up? <laughs> I'm running out of things to say. Yeah, so what's what's next for David Dobrik? I don't know. I get that question. There are, no, there are no big things coming. Yeah. Well, you got the tour, of course. Yeah. Um, no, just just continue to do stuff, taking everything day by day. Yeah. yeah. So no, like... I'm saying yes to a lot more things. For the past two years, I I think I turned down every meeting I possibly could have because I had I had all my, my blogs take so much time. Yeah. But now I'm, I'm taking a bunch of meetings and I'm doing everything I should have been doing two years ago. And I'm playing catch-up. Yeah. So cool. Um, so, <laughs> no, the late night, you know, it was, it was interesting because Liza was on late night. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's good that it's back. Like, yeah. Someone tracking you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, you zoomed out. The testing them out. Yeah. yeah. So, late night, do you see oh, yourself getting into traditional acting? No. No, no, I don't want to act. I okay. definitely don't want to act. I, I would be down to host, but I also don't know if I'm a good host. They don't know that yet. Um, I think you'd be a great host. Yeah, I appreciate that. I think everyone else does too, you think. But no, no, I don't, I don't want to get into acting because I, uh, I, I say this too a lot. I think one of my strengths is knowing what I'm good at and what I'm bad at. Yeah. And I'm pretty positive that I'm awful at acting. But, um, <laughs> Do that thing with the last three minutes that we have? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it for the last 30 seconds. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll say something else. I don't know what to say. Uh, how's it going? Maybe we got there, a Are there a lot of people out there? This is nuts. Over a thousand! Over a thousand! How has this changed over the years? I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever, like, is this your, what VidCon is this for you? Yeah, third? Yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah, did you guys go over to TanaCon or can I not talk about that here? They're, they're giving me, a, they're, they're putting me off the stage now. Um, yeah, plugging. So he has a new song, you guys should definitely go check it out. He has new music, it's amazing. Liza, a brand new show, Liza on the Bay. More episodes, it's great. I've seen more episodes than anybody in this room, maybe. I don't know, who knows who's here. Um, Todd, Todd's gonna come out with a book. Karina has merch, Alex has new vlogs. Yeah. We love you! Jason and Trisha are going through some stuff right now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even touch up on that. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really have a comment on that. It's, it's not much of my business, even though it's on the entire internet now. Uh, uh, number one trending topic. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do right now, Natalie, are you back there? Yeah, we are. Guys, I only have like three shirts.